Hi guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing, well not reviewing, taking a look at a preview of the new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom trilogy figures, the new Wave 2. Now before I'm going to continue on this, if you're new for this channel, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and my gaming channel, look in the description down below. And also if you guys want to donate much money in PayPal, a dollar, fifty cents, or a penny, go ahead and do it. Please, I beg you up because I actually do want to get some of the figures so I can reveal for you guys. And I know none of you guys don't want to support me, so screw you. Also, be advised this video is not made for kids and annoying teenagers. This is for adults collectors only for the age of 18 and older. So anyways, enough about that. So what new figures are coming soon for the Kingdom series? Well, we got two new course class figures, four deluxe class figures. One of them is going to be releasing for the Kingdom series, two Voyager class, and one Leader class. So if you guys want to know who's the new, what's the new for Core class, well, we got Megatron, Starscream. For the last class, we got Air Racer, Huffer, the new figure for the 40 fossilized weaponizers, uh, Arachno, right? I hope I said it right. And one of the figures is really releasing, which is RC. I am not going to take a look at RC because you guys already know about the RC figure. I haven't gotten her yet, so I need to find her. Um, For the Voyager class, we got Inferno and Dinobot. Thank God for that. And for the leader class, Ultra, Ma Ultra Magnus. Which I haven't got the Ultra Magnus figure from Siege and not even the spoiler box edition. So yeah, I hope I could find one soon. Now nah, screw it. I'm probably gonna buy it on Amazon because I'm that stupid. Well, I need I need money first. So yeah, enough about that. Let's get on with it. So let's get it on with the first figure, which is Megatron. So here it is, Core Class Megatron. You know. The, the painting and sculpt and the detail of this figure looks great, but the one thing I don't like about this figure is the backpack cable that he have. like, uh, sorry about that, like, what the actual hell I'm even looking at? It's look, it's look crap. The only accessory that he comes with is his pistol gun, which is like, I think it's like a little easter egg of it. Keep going of more photos of the posing. I think the uh, fusion his fusion cannon is gonna be his other accessory. I don't know, but the way Megatron looks on this, it looks it's it's cool, but I don't like it at the same time because, like I said, the, the fucking backpack cable is kind of terrible. I like when he comes with his own gun, which is pretty good. And and funny enough, there is a you can use the gun for the vehicle mode, which I show you that later. But here's more possibility, more posing of this figure and look look at this you can use his gun as a barrel it's cute but also looks stupid at the same time what is what else is more stupid is well this foot like that in the tank the tank mode is kind of like it's not giving me a good taste of it like i like it it sucks here's more photo yes the 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 top of the barrel can move up and down, and the, and the whole thing on the body of the tank can swivel. I don't know if swivel can, can, can go 360 degrees, but yeah, you know, so other way around. Here's some more photo of it. Yeah, the, the vehicle mode, the robot mode is not not good, and plus it is, it is suffering, he's suffering some lack of paint, a lot of lack of paint. You can see the packaging, what it looks like, WFCK13. The core class figure will be cost about ten dollars. Same thing uh, with Starscream as well, which I'll show you that here later, right about now. So here it is Starscream. Oh man, Starscream. Okay, look, I know a lot of you guys are a bigger fan of Starscream, but just looking by this one is terrible for me. Like, it's my opinion, not your guys' opinion. So shut the hell up. For Starscream, the core class version is... Ugh, don't get me started on the pack pack cable. It's, it's not good. Okay, I understand there's a hinge right here so you can fold it up so you can do the arm articulation. That's great. But he's suffering a lot of lack of pain. That, it's pissing me off. The only accessory he comes with is, of course, his null rays. Vehicle mode. 
Oh my fucking god. Yeah, vehicle mode is terrible. You can see the robot arms. You can, there's no landing pad on it. There, it's suffer, The wings is missing some paints. Jesus Christ. It's, it's so depressing just by looking at it. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, the robot kill right there. Oh, man. You see more photos of it. Look, I know I'm going. I'm saying negative stuff for it. But that's my opinion of it. Just. Oh, bro. Well, here's the packaging look of it. WFC K12. You can see the back of the packaging. It's just transformed to 17 step. Okay, now we can get it on, on the Deluxe class. So here we have Deluxe class Air Racer, which the painting and sculpting and detail of Air Racer, she looks so well. The the goldish ye yellowish color, the copperish um, bronze color look, with what her like. Well, I think this is like a like a different shade of white. Oh, uh, not white. I think it was like light gray, and I think like the brownish color on her looks great. She is a maximal, by the way. She looks pretty good. But my other major complaint about this, well, there's the arms of articulation will be getting away by the wings, which they're on a hinge that you can move it, so that's good. Pulsability of it looks great, but there is a gap right there in the back legs. Uh, bruh. Plus, she is suffering some a little bit of lack of paint. Head scope looks great and all, by the way. It looks good. Mine is... This the eyes are kind of like a bit... It's creepy. Fucking hell, it is creepy. Okay, I don't know what the hell it is. I don't, I don't know who the, who the jackass put in this, but... The <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You can see more photos of her artwork. Her beast mode transformed into a eagle. Which... She looks great. But... The giant-ass massive robot killable... Yeah, it's not it's not cutting out for me. Be, her beast mode is kind of kind of depressing. It's kind of more depressing just by looking at it. Like Jesus Christ! And plus, it is gonna be difficult for me to custom paint any uh, Beast Wars characters to give a more like modern look, like Optimus Primal, Arach uh, Black Arachnia. I don't have none of those figures yet. I will try to get them soon if anyone willing to buy for me. And I think her jaw can open open and close, so that's great. Yeah, it does have, it's on a little peg, of course. No, I mean a little hinge. I don't know if there's any hinge marks on there. Probably not. Uh, her eagle head sculpt looks great. Pretty good. You can see more of it. Looks good. And now we can get in on Huffer. Yes, one of the original characters from Generation 1. And now coming to the Kingdom series. Now Huffer, I think Huffer is kind of, it looks going to be good for this uh, series. Well, I don't know about the backpack cable about it, but the painting and sculpted detail of this figure looks great. He comes with his own gun, and he does come with a shield, which, speaking enough, there it is. He has suffered some a little bit of lack of paint. Probably needs to add some more paint right there to the head, a little bit of more silver on the head also, somewhere a little bit of orange around somewhere in the body, and a little bit of blue around here with a hint of silver as well. The Huffer looks great and all. But the backpack kibble right here, well, he is a kind of a bit of a shell former right here. If you guys know what a shell former is, a shell former is a when a figure transform out of their shell. So that means they won't come out of their shell, but they transform to it. Oh, just ignore the background. That's my mom being annoying. But Huffer vehicle mode? Okay. Now, now you're getting there. Now it's getting there, but I wish it could give us some more paint to it, like a little bit of silver right there, silver on the door handle, and a little bit of blue like in the robot mode have. And plus, weapon storage of it looks great, and it's pretty good. See, you can see some siege ports right there. More photo of the vehicle mode, and here's the best part: you can connect it with Optimus Prime trailer to give him more, to give him like you know one of the uh, episode on. Transformer G1 before anyone's gonna ask. I never seen it before, so shut the hell up. More photo of it. I, I think it's like the coolest thing they did. And I like it. Now I do want to get the Earthrise version of Megatron of Optimus Prime. And now we could get it on to one of the figures I've been waiting for. Another weaponizer. Well, a skeletal weaponizer. And this one we have is Arachnoid. A well, it is part of the Triceratop 
family but different because of the head sculpt. The painting sculpt, the detail on this figure, it looks pretty well. The, the dirty look effect on the on the, that that he have like the weather effects looks great. On the skeletal look, it looks good, but there's one problem. There's no hands. You think no real hand simmer sucks with any figures? Yeah. Hell, look at the Lego Hero Factory figures. Some of it have one hand, some of it doesn't have any hands. But this one right here is badass. Now there's another photo with me, I have it with me, which... That you can combine with Huffer, which... If I go so fast... Very quick... You could combine it with Huffer, and that is pretty badass. I like it a lot. Now, getting back with Arachnid Raid photos. Quickly span my mouse. You can see more possibility on the figure. I like what they did that the ankle possibility like uh, Paleo tracks, which is pretty good. I like the head scope of it. Pretty nice. Even like this, it looks pretty good. Even you could give like, you know, spec spooky, scary skeleton looks. Well, the, you know, the fossilizer. They're like weaponized, they're like uh, fossilized weaponizer figures. The beast mode of this one looks great. You got the Predacon symbol right there. I like this a lot. I, I'm just, this is the reason why I want to collect the kingdom figures because of those skeletal looking figures. The horns up there, I think they're like a made of a soft rubber plastic. I don't know. I like what the eyes are painted red. You can see the teeth marks right there. And of course, we have. Old Trap Madness, well, we're getting on, well, the photos right here, it's just, it's kind of messed that up, but here it is, Ultra Madness in his robot mode. Before anyone's going to ask, I do not own the, the Seize version of that one. I wish I could get the Seize version, but yeah, don't worry. Hopefully they can make the upgrade kits for it, but just by looking this over, it looks great. The white, red, and blue, mmm, special. special. A little bit of silver right there, but uh, it, Ultra Magnum needs some needs some more red. Like it needs a little bit more red on the head, somewhere in the arms, a, a little bit more blue on the on the white part as well. Well, that's kind of my opinion. And plus, like the right to seize version, here it is Ultra Mag the white version of Optimus Prime, which. I don't know, I think people might kind of compare it with the Earthrise version of Optimus Prime. But just by looking, it's over, it looks okay, but I wish it could give us some more paint to it. I understand that the white version of Optimus Prime is just white with sky blue. I understand it, and also the gun is painted on in the silver, it's just molded red, but I'm painted silver. Vehicle mode, damn, that's badass. Vehicle mode looks great and all. I like it a lot. I like the weapon source and they have. It looks great. And I don't know if you can able to put in the, the deluxe class figures on the on Ultra Magnus. Probably not. But if someone can test that theory out for me, I'll be happy for it. Just looking more into vehicle mode. Just looking over more of it. It looks great. I like it a lot. More photos of the of the White Optimus Prime. The only major problem is well. The fist is visible, you can, there's no way to cover it up, and same thing with the robot foot, so that kind of sucks. The plus, it, it is suffering some a little bit of walker pin also. You can see the packaging right there, pretty good. More look of the packaging, I uh, don't know which number this one is, but it will be on the $50 uh, price on it, and the deluxe cost will be on $20, I forgot to mention one thing. More of the back of the packaging right there, looks great. And now we're getting on in the Voyager class, which is Dinobot. Now, a lot of you guys will be a, well, a bigger fan of Dinobot. Even I know a YouTuber named Jabi Da Hong, which is a great YouTuber. I will recommend to subscribe to him because he's the coolest guy ever. He's the biggest fan of Dinobot, and I think he will probably gonna buy this figure and reveal it and compare it to the the masterpiece version of Dinobot, the universe, uh, the the universe version of Dinobot. But uh, I want to get this Dinobot so I could give him the paint more paint to it to give him more gold. Like the blue face on him, on his face, somewhere in the legs right here. But like I said, custom painting the the Beast War character is going to be difficult for me. The accessory he comes with, is, of course, is of his 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 weapon and his shield, which is transformed into the 
his beast mode tail. And I like to use the the Velociraptor legs as the robot arms, which is pretty good. More possibility on the figure. This looks great. Even with the detail of the scales right there looks cool. I like it a lot. You can see more possibility on it. Pretty good. But the problem is, is so I can paint. That's one problem. You can see the beast mode right here looks great. I like the, the detail of the scales right here to give them like, you know, a rough effects. Like actual dinosaurs. It looks great and all. You can see closer on the head sculpt that looks so cool and plus creepy at the same time. You can see more detail on the, on the skins right there. It looks great and all. I like it a lot. You can see more painting on the, you know, the a little bit of hint. So I think it's like a creamy white color, but whitish like this. But the problem with the beast mode, well, the robot kills is showing out there. Yeah, this kind of sucks. More of the packaging right there, and of, of course he's a he's a Predacon, but also but he's a Maxima also because well, yeah. You see more packaging look up Dinobot, which is pretty good. I do want to get this figure so badly, but I don't have enough money for it, so yeah. And now we can get it on Inferno, the last figure. Inferno is a repaint and a it's a repaint and a slight remold of Grapple from this Earthrise series, which. To be honest, Inferno looks great and all, but he is suffering some a little bit of lack of paint. I wish you could, I wish there was a way. I wish I could give him like you know a little bit of like white on it to like you know if like actual fire fighter, fighter fighter trucks have like color white on it. Sometimes it had yellow on it, but for this one, I think I think I would rather put it white to give it more like you know look, more posability of this boy right here. <sighs> but my major complaint about it is the head. Articulation because of the way it designed, it sucks. Vehicle mode looks great and all. I like it a lot. Like I said, it's it's a repaint and a slight remold of Grapple. It looks great. You can see more of it, and also the the arm can extend in and out like that. That's pretty good. More possibility, more more photos of the um on the vehicle mode. We got more photos right there on the vehicle mode. It looks great. The only, I think the accessory will come as his gun, the little hose piece right there and everything right there. It looks great. I like it a lot. Here's more of the photo right there. So that pretty much that's it. So let's get back on to the, the beginning of the photo. Well, not the combination with Huffer and Reckon right. Boom, there we go. Overall, the Wave 2 figures are pretty good. It kind of sucks they're kind of re-releasing the RC figure. But if you have a chance, but if you guys want to get the RC figure, if you mess up on the Earthrise series, go ahead and get it for the Kingdom series. So that pretty much that's it. But I would rather buy, but I want to buy Dinobot, Arachnoride, Huffer, and all the figures right here. I want to get them all. So yes. But leave the comment down below what figure do you guys want to get. <sighs> So anyways, you guys, if you guys want to see the last um, Kingdom figure review, what I did, make sure you go ahead and check it out. Or if you want to see the full playlist of Siege, Earthrise, and Kingdom series figures that I made a review on and preview, make sure you go ahead and check it out. I'll tell next time, you guys. Have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.